delighted to be joined by uh, Cork City defender Colin Horgan at the SC Electricity League launch. Uh, Colin, uh, how's pre-season been so far? Yeah, it's been good. Uh, long, but good. Yeah. You know, every pre-season feels long, but uh, finished it now, so done and dusted. Looking forward to St. Pat's. Yeah, and look, obviously, you know, uh, pre-season. I know Cork were back in December, and um, how difficult was pre-season this time compared to maybe years gone by? Sure, every pre-season yeah. stuff like you almost forget about it then once the season kicks off. So you know the season seems as tough as last one. That one seemed tougher than the one before. It's just the way it goes, really. Yeah, and look, obviously, I suppose at uh, Cork City, there's been a lot of change. You know, obviously, Kieran Sadler has left, and they brought in a lot of good young talent. You know, very Dan Case from Bowes, uh, Daryl Connor from UCD. How maybe the new signings gelled into the squad? Yeah, done really well. Like you know, fitted in seamlessly enough. Um, you know, I think. Uh, Performances the last day speak from themselves. Even the two lads you just mentioned there both played really well against Sundalk um, in the President's Cup. Um, so I think uh, all the other lads as well flying, raring to go. Yeah, and uh, maybe can we expect to see something different from Cork this year? I don't know. I think we'll be there challenging again. Um, in that regard, I don't think there'll be anything different. Uh, you know, I think that's definitely what's expected from ourselves and definitely from the fans. You know, in the management group. Uh, we want to be there, thereabouts, come the end of the season, and uh, I think that's what we expect. Yeah, and obviously you just mentioned the fans there. How important of a role did they play at Turner's Crossfield? Absolutely massive. Like I don't, don't know if there's uh, another ground that gets such a big turnout every week. Um, you know, uh, well, I don't know what our average was last year. It was probably over 4,000 anyway, which is unbelievable. Uh, so they play a huge role. Yeah, and um, maybe in terms of the season, what's the expectation among the squad? Obviously, I was talking to Daryl Connor a few days ago, and he was saying, look, league and the cup. Is that maybe similar line to your thinking? Absolutely, yeah. You know, we're in it to win it. Like, um, I think that's the way we have to approach it. Um, you know, obviously we were disappointed last year to fall short, but we really need to look and go one further this year. You know, I think. Lovely. Thanks very much, Colin. No, well, Thank well, you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah, lovely. I'm delighted to be joined by uh, New Shelburne sign Luke Byrne, and uh, best to see us the league launch. And um, Luke, um, how's pre-season been so far? Yeah, it's gone really well. I've enjoyed it. Uh, we've worked hard. And, you know, we've been in a lot. Um, personally, was playing a bit of catch up. Come back from a long term injury, but all eyes now on next Friday and uh, feeling ready. Yeah, and look, obviously you've just come from Shamrock Rovers. Have you found any of the transition to Shelby? Uh, yeah, look, I know a lot of the lads in the dressing room and stuff, and uh, they've all made me feel really welcome along with the manager as well. And uh, it's more of a local club for me, so I'm not complaining about spending less time in the car. Yeah, and look, obviously uh, you were. Shamrock Brothers last year was kind of, I'd say, plagued by injuries. Um, how excited are you to maybe get have a new beginning as such? Yeah, exactly. That's what it is for me. It's a new start. You know, I was there for over five years, so um, everything comes to an end at some stage, I suppose. And it's uh, it's an opportunity for me now to go to a new club, play a new position, new teammates, new coach and staff. You know, everything about it is uh, it's going to be different for me, but I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and um, obviously having been with um, Shamrock Rovers last year, maybe you know people didn't think you'd win the league last year, but now you're with Shells, everyone thinks Shells are going to walk to the league this year. Does that maybe change your mentality going to come back this year? No, to be honest, because our Rovers I believe we're going to win the league, and our Shells I believe we're going to win the league, so look, it's for people probably outside of our dressing room, we're going to you know, walk the league or whatever, not taking too much notice of it, because people's words are relevant really. Yeah, and um, I suppose from, you know, probably obviously everyone in the media is, you know, talking about how many good players Shells have brought in, you know, obviously there's Colin Byrne, Oscar Brandon yourself, Kieran Kildall, and um, does that maybe help that everyone's kind of new enough to the scene and talk about in terms of the new gentlemen as well? Yeah, I suppose it does. Uh, a lot of new lads, you know, if everyone comes in with their nails, particularly with a lot of, you know, enthusiasm and optimism and the, um, that's what we can group. And obviously there's a few there from last as well, experienced ads like Derek Prendergast, Nina Laney, who, you know, they know where the place works and uh, it's a good combination. Yeah, and then um, how's have you found working under Ian Marston, the manager? Obviously he's kind of new enough to the game. Yeah, he's obviously in his first job um, in terms of working with the first team, but he's new out of the game, you know, he's fresh out of the game, so he's, uh, he's one of these managers, he's not distant, he's really, you know, he's talks to players a lot, the players know what's expected of them, which helps, and uh, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, and look, finally, what's the, um, I suppose, the ambition now uh, in the dressing room at Chelsea this year? Obviously, I know you just said before, you win the league title, is there anything else you maybe want to achieve? Why can't you go far in the cup? You know, it's one off games against teams, and we know that we're capable of giving anyone a good game. Um, 
We're still in the pre-season at the minute, we've played some Premier Division teams, so look, it's only pre-season, don't want to read too much into it, but we know once we get going, we'll be able to give anyone a game. Yeah, look, sorry, another question. Um, how important of a role will the, I suppose the fans play at the Park? Obviously, we saw them at the tail end of last year, they were brilliant, you know, obviously the game against Gerard ended in heartbreak, but, you know, the fans staying around until the very end. How much of an impact will the fans play this year for, the, I suppose, the first team? Yeah, look, I was at that game and it was a great atmosphere at it. And, uh, it's a cliche, but it's true. The players really feel the effect of when um, they've got the fans on the side and the fans are loud and encouraging. And it's um, it's something that can help drive the team on. So, please God, we can start the season well and put in some good performances and some bums on seats. Okay, thanks very much, Luke. Yeah, Thank cheers, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, I'm um, delighted to be joined by, um, I suppose, our MC on today, Con Murphy. Uh, Con, um, how'd you find today? Good, yeah, great turnout. Um, I mean, it's a great chance for everyone to come together on one day. So you have all the managers, all the players, um, and you know, officials from the different clubs get a chance to all meet up before the season starts. So I think a day like this is good, and, and like to, to, to make sure that they have a player from every club gear in the club gear for the official photographs is just good. You know, so you're a big supporter of the league, and how, so how pleasing is it to see so many members of the media and so many players here today? Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's grown so much like, from when I was, I'm going to sound like an old man now, but when I was younger, um, you know, you had three or four national newspapers, and there was no tabloids in those days, and no podcasts, and no local radio, no national TV, they'd maybe show three or four games a year, if even. So in terms of the coverage of the league now, compared to what we had you know, a couple of decades ago, it's, you know, the chalk and cheese is totally different. And, and it's great to see so many people here and so many, you know, new media, uh, apart from just your traditional newspapers and TV and so on. Yeah, maybe, I suppose, on that point, you know, obviously, there's a lot more, so it's a lot more social media based. Do you think that's maybe, so that helps the fan who wants to, I suppose, get involved in the league a lot more? Definitely. Definitely. I mean, even just in terms of like Twitter, you know, if a club sign a new player, you're going to find out on Twitter in five minutes. Whereas in the olden days, you would have been waiting for a newspaper report the following day or whatever. It's it's very instant and very immediate, and you also have direct access because you know a lot of the players are on Twitter and stuff. And not that you want to be, you know, giving them abuse or whatever. <laughs> Twitter it happens, but. The fact that you can actually communicate directly with a player and say, you know, well played, great game, you know, brilliant goal, whatever, um, and even like the clips that are going up of goals from matches and stuff, I think it's fabulous and, and it's a real step forward.